Welcome to a storm in Project Edom for Imperium Galactic Survival. In the last part, we were taking down the Karana Garden. And I'd like to say a big thank you to Snafu, who pointed out that now we know where the core location is. That POI will be relatively simple if we encounter another one, um, simply because what we were able to do really is once we've taken out the exterior weapons, we could fly underneath and hack our way into the core room from below and destroy the core. And once we destroyed the core, then hopefully we won't get as many creatures spawning, although I'm sure some will. And then that leaves the whole POA open to, well, being looted. Although I would probably say that looting will be still quite interesting and it's not something that you want to be able to take for granted. And I think in some ways, if I do encounter it again, there's, there's a couple of places where I, I think it might be worth taking a look to see if there's any more hidden loot boxes. But that's something for a possible future. Now, in this part, I want to do a couple of things. I may need to have a bit of change of pace before we go up and do the logistics center. So you can see on the horizon there is a crash capital vessel. And I know, and I know you can see it's marked with a yellow marker. And the reason I marked that is that it's got a good source of uh, thrusters on it. What I'd most likely do is come across and do this advanced comm centre. It's a little while since I've done a comm centre. And then possibly we got a Xerox factory here. Or we could come up here and take a look at this advanced space ball. Before we go on to the next video where we will be looking at the Karana Logistics Centre. If you actually look at the top left right hand corner you'll see that it says we're actually in shallow water now i parked the ship here originally because i wasn't sure how deep that water was was but i'm pretty but i've flown over with the sv and what we should be able to do is go over and land right next to that capital vessel we're a bit close to the advanced comm center but i think we'll be reasonably safe what i want to do is get it Park this way because you can see if you look carefully you can see that the thrusters are on in the similar area uh, looks like the water is a little bit deeper than I thought so maybe we'll go the other side and see <laughs> see the water ripples there from the, the most recent update but if we oops might have to break some trees away we land on this side back a little bit can kind of nudge right in this and close like that maybe go a little bit oops a bit further forward that's ah, a bit too far forward yeah the waters should shouldn't be flooding into the ship itself <laughs> theory anyway just oh yeah it looks like we've <laughs> we're just gonna have to wade through the water so we've flooded the lower deck but that'll be okay Obviously, the ship's not not exactly flat. Just want to kind of see if we can reach the thrusters without actually going outside. We're gonna, I mean, we're gonna have to core it. Yeah, it's well within range. Just right on the limit. It's okay. I mean, if necessary, what we can do is just use the SV to get closer. Well, we could just stand over here. We're gonna need a core. So uh, just take out the this rocket launcher. I think the cores are actually in here. I have to make some new ones, some more cores actually. Because of course we have to get the thrusters complete. I want the thrusters complete, especially the extra large one on the back there, is so that we can. Do it. I'm wondering if I can get inside. Just in case the thing falls apart. Got plenty of oxygen, so we'll have a bit of a swim around so that we can, if there's any cargo boxes or anything in it before we do the main looting. Turn the light on. If there's anything in here, no cargo boxes, just thrusters. And that's about it. There's an RCS in here as well. Oh no, we can swim back up onto this section here. So we'll just get in here. And I think we'll put this, what we can get, 
into the loot box, I think. So we'll just pick that up. Get the big thruster first. One. Take a couple of these. I've done this uh, POS capital vessel so many times now. I know where most of the thrusters actually are. There's a couple there. There's, off, there's one on the side here as well. I can't remember where the RCS is. It's the water's going to distort things. There's a thruster there. Whoops. I think what we'll do is we'll actually salvage some more now. Oh, <laughs> Once the block didn't drop off the side. Oh no, it's this side, isn't it? There it is. You take off one of the blocks on one of the sides. There's some more. I think there's more thrusters across the top. Some on the top here. Um, I think we're, actually we're going to retrieve them whole. Because I am considering actually building a deconstructor base. And we'll probably get more from them by what you probably do with those grills actually. Shutters. These are small thrusters, so I think we'll just scrap these. Get just get the oscillators. Oops. We're right on the limit now in this ship it's been a bit temp temperamental. I'll just take that. Then we'll just come back in. Oops, got a bit disorientated. Another one just there. I mean, I'm, what I'm really after is the oscillators and various other bits and pieces. I think what we'll do now is we'll just flip across with the SV. Way through the water, going paddling. <laughs> We're actually so deep at this end that I uh, actually have to swim. Uh, just get up here. Actually, while we're here, we'll just have a quick check of the, um, the ammo, which is what we got. How much have we got in the way of our... Probably do with a few more uh, missiles, actually. If we go to Constructor in, and we'll just knock up some more, more of these. We'll, we'll probably make... Uh, and actually, about another 20 odd of those. Probably going to need them. I need to go through them really quickly. Thrusters don't really need shields. We're safe. Quite getting a bit low on fuel as well, I just noticed. So we'll have to. We'll just drop down onto the, the top. Like this. Get the thrusters on just in case. Let's see how, how many. Right, we've, we've got still got a few more, sm a couple of sm small ones, some slant ones. We'll do, we'll do it visually first, and then we'll come back for the. What you're looking for is these connectors on this side. What you see is we just got them. Oops. Take that for luck. There's one on each side here. Once that bit drops off. There's the RCS. Where... Oh, I took it. Anyway. And there's another one on this side. That bit drops off. Got 45 steel plates. Right, how many thrusters have we got left now? We've got these slant ones to see where they are. This guy, oh, looks like we've got a couple on the top here. We've got some down there. And we'll just take those out. Take that, that one, and that one. Uh, just again for the reload.
take that. Get some more oscillators, flux coils, and that should be it. Nope, nope, we got one left. Where are you? There's your, yeah, 33. Well, and usually the ship didn't destroy itself. Well, there it is there. Turn this off so we don't get a tag. And we're just salvage that one. And I think all we got left now is steel plates. So, come back up through the water. I don't think there's anything else of the value it's just that beyond the core. Yeah, we've got an OT station and the core, so always recover the where I put where I put the core and find it. And this work. Where did I put the core? <laughs> um Thank you game. Okay, let's just get the other way. Oh, show on HUD. There it is, back that way. So, it's in the... There it is there. Where am I? No, it right below the ship. Okay, let's just take off the core. And we're... So we can't actually recover the core hole. I don't think I need anything else, but I'll just take the... Doors for and we we'll flip back. We'll just drop over the top of the ship here. If we can pick up some ammunition, uh, let me just see. Ammo box, capital vessel. I've absolutely no idea where the. Oh no, it's there. So we've come up with 78 of those. Got uh, a little bit of railgun ammunition. We'll take that with us as well. And I think we've got a bit of a fuel problem. Yeah, the fuel's getting low. So we uh, just pick up the general supplies. Got 100 of those in. And tax it, uh, probably could do with a little bit of a boost. Um, thought we'd needed more pentaxid. Oxygen, well, just keep that topped up. Got 230 oxygen. In fact, let's just check the capital vessel. Uh, fuel's a bit low. Put another 90 of those in. I like just like to keep the, this topped up so that we don't have any problems. And Texid tanks got plenty in. The oxygen's 98%, obviously, because we're not actually on a planet that needs it. And we're facing southwest, so the direction we need to go to find the advanced bomb center is there. It's only 1.23 uh, kilometers away. Now this is, I think it's a level three, isn't it? Yeah, so it might be a bit aggressive. So we're gonna to need to be a little bit careful going in. So we're not gonna just sneak up on it. Now I'm trying to think of the best way to do it. Wow, got a few mini guns around it. We're gonna to need to try and draw the mini guns the right way. The problem is, is going to be is actually seeing where the base is amongst all these trees so what we're going to need to do is come in relatively close get the attention of the, the drones and try and draw them away come on guys you can do it that's it it's one we keep low because these guys are just above the trees we can get in amongst them oops just realized I don't have my shields on 
I'm sure some of you have said, ah, he hasn't switched the shields on. Right, just wait for the shields to charge up. Put the shields on. Luckily, I made the mistake when we before we actually <laughs> got them all. Normally, I'd go down and loot those, but trying to see those amongst the trees is going to be fun. We're going to have to go high because I can't. When I mean, it tells me the base is there now, if I remember correctly, this this thing could have three or four turrets on it. The game we're, we're going to kind of try and get in really close I right, have to pull away let the shields recharge Then we know roughly where the turrets are. Get the shields back up. I mean, this would be definitely a lot easier if we could actually see what we're shooting at. That's one down. That's two down. Let's just get in close. I think that'd be the best way to do it. Because they, these guys can't get there on us. Okay, they're actually firing at us through the building infrastructure. That's quite interesting. If you can't get in close to these laser turrets, they don't seem to be able to fire at you that easily. I don't know if there's like a, a minimum range for them. Um, whoops. It's almost like the game, they can't actually depress to get to you. Like that one above, it's, it's turning, it knows I'm here. Wow. Another one down. You can, whoops, I need to get up a little bit. I am. Get out the trees. Got rid of him. So these minor POIs, you can take them with uh, an SV. It's just that you've got to just make sure they can't actually concentrate all the fire on a single location. This. Whoops, sorry about that. I, I think we've got everything here. I mean, the. Yeah, we've got the turrets on this side. The way in is actually on the top here. I've got a feeling there must be hostile patrols nearby. So, uh, just get in. Might be a little bit of a tight fit. Okay, we're not on the, on the thrusters off. Yeah, we're right up against the door. It's gonna make life a little bit difficult. He should be able to. Enough action. He's crouching. Right, we've got... Can't get in there, we just have to try with the... Hey, cut it out. There's a turret in there. Oops.
hit these guys. And then we'll just get our health back up. Whoops, I don't want that. You know, about got it. We're... Right, that means there's another turret in there somewhere. Build our health back up again. I'm going to use the epic rifle. Well, got ammunition here. There's the turret. the way down I'll switch there so, yeah. oh look at that nice lot of loot containers here pop this straight into the switched again like that and we uh, like that I'll buy off uh, the laser ammunition. 610. Be okay. Get back out here. I'm just going to check down the bottom of this. See what we're getting ourselves into down here. Hello. He obviously fell down. Kind of blasted our way through the door. There's a couple of Xerox caught in the corner there. Gonna need to with the shotgun going. Whoops, can't spawn. Okay, we'll, we'll just have to do it manually. Okay guys, uh, I've got the, we're going to get the noise effect, the getting killed, so I'm going to try respawn in at the Maelstrom. Right, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to log out and come back in again to get rid of this horrible noise. Seems to be a characteristic of this planet, but I'll see you in a minute. Okay, welcome back. Yeah, we've got rid of the horrible noise. And I think what we're going to do is, well, two things. One, I want to check my armor because uh, well, my armor is still durable. It's got 330. But what we're going to do is move this ship, capital ship, closer. So we'll bring all our firepower to deal with the opposition and the shields on. Course, what we're going to have to do is bash some space so that we can actually land the we have to do the usual what we were doing before <laughs> i think it's rapidly becoming time to move on from this planet i think i've created enough space now it's just that we can land It's taken a little while to do it, but I finally managed to get should have enough space to land. And my my ships are actually providing the unnecessary fire support, so it should be okay. I think probably the easiest way in will be to jump off the top of the ship down if I can remember which side it's on. POI is there. Hopefully, we should be able to jump from here right across to. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, what we'll do is we'll touch down and get my. It's, it's okay. Who's firing at us?
do a quick reload. A little bit worried about that explosion. Get behind this door here. that time this guy and we'll just get rid of the an automatic door there and another one there make sure we're Enough shotgun shells, we need to reload that. Sniper is nearly full. Oh, that'd be okay. I think we'll take the right hand door first. There's probably other ones inside here as well. Obviously, my ship uh, took these guys down. Right, I think this is the lower door, isn't it? Get rid of you. And I'm pretty sure there's uh, some nice loot boxes behind here, but. I'm actually thinking we're, we're going through this one as well. Just reload for this one as well. And just weapons check. We're reasonably okay. Uh, can see you. Get rid of you. Reload. Can afford one shell. <laughs> A nice big hole in the side here. I don't know. Just top this up. It will just uh, capital vessel, food and meds. We'll just pump up some of this. Actually, we've got some space here for some food. So, see what we got here 18 health, 25 health. Uh, we've got some ratatouille here. Ratatouille is probably one of the better ones. Uh, we got some cereal here as well. Just cereal. Just had some cereal actually because <laughs> um, I had breakfast before I started making the video. I think we'll just use up the sandwich. We're now comfortable and satisfied, so we might get a bit of regeneration now. Just uh, a little bit of a reload. We've got a switch here. There's the port. We've now got control. Oops, Hold that, guys. I think this is the opposite side of the room, so got that there. Ah. You get a few headshots in, and you're okay. Oxygen. Totally convinced that it's worth actually coring this place, but I can't get the oxygen. That's a bit annoying. Once we got a loot box here, so we might as well work through our way through it. Just salvage. Um, capital vessel. Loot box. We'll take that. And then we'll take it to 
make sure that we've got it where I take the oxygen as well. Be sure. Oh, look at that. See, it's behind there. Got a data pad repair bay. The repair bay can go in the workshop. We come back up this way. That's the way we came in. Um, right. There's the generators. There's the fuel cells. This is the outside. So this is another way you could come in. You could pull this lever and then just come in the top front bit here. Uh, when it's not enough, so. Oh, we got six out of that, so. Uh, take the small generators. <laughs> Here's the opposite side of the room that we've just been in. And I think that is about it for this uh, POI. Relatively straightforward. And you can see that, so there's two ways in, ground floor and the higher floor. I don't think there's anything else higher up. Let's just see. We, we got these, didn't we? So I don't think there's anything above. Oops, I have entry full. Okay. Uh, loot box. Shove all this in here. We'll shove some of this stuff in raw food. Put that in there. Oops, we've got 126 missiles in the fridge. I'm not exactly sure how that happened, but we'll put those in there. Probably because I was misdirecting my constructors. Put you there. Got the ammunition. Got an overflow of there. I'll put some. Put you in food and meds there. So you can see, got so many, so much in the way of meds. It's unbelievable. I say I can even afford to just eat food to build my health back up again, even though I'm not hungry. That take that back to ship here. So I'm pretty sure there isn't anything else here, but we will take the antennas. Is there? Uh, oh, look at that! See, look at that is one just there. So it's worth checking. Uh, not so, uh, what we got up here. Oh, yeah, I'm certainly gonna. Well, I'm not sure we can't take all that. So, what we're gonna need to do is go to loot box hook and then just come in here. We can just drag it directly down onto here. Like that. Uh, break the container put that in there as well next thing I'd like to do actually is reconnect we're going to put this up into the workshop let's put this in this is capital vessels you need to find the the ship that I can never find Every, despite knowing the, the name of it I just keep forgetting what, what it is so we'll just drop this in that takes us within well, you can say a couple of hundred of estruments are cozy. I've probably got enough in ingots to finish that, but at the moment, because I'm looting and we're going to muff off so you find more of these repair bays, I'm not going to waste my ingots on anything else there. And I think we're just finish off salvaging out this. And so I don't think there's anything else in here. We're just trying to. Oops. A quick look through just make sure at the bottom now i actually did get a question about actually how POIs in the sky are actually made and i must admit i had to think about it because i'm not the world's greatest creator in fact i'm pretty terrible at it i could do basic builds but compared to the standard that you see in the workshop i'm not even close i'll be honest and I actually had to think about it, and it suddenly occurred to me, most of these PO, these really large POIs are probably built, actually built in the air. Because if you imagine, say, like, say, the abandoned factory or something like that, where you can go down three or four levels, I mean, you wouldn't excavate 
on even in creative mode it doesn't make sense to actually excavate your way all the way down to be able to make it what you do is is you build it in the sky because when you place a uh, a, a, a poi base or something like that you can you can adjust the height and of course when you want to put that poi into the game you you could actually probably configure the the actual files which specify kind of specify the location so i think it's a very interesting subject if any of you know any other specific details about that feel free to chuck it in the comments so uh, i say but as i say i'm not exactly the best person to talk about things like that probably someone like jet spange or jeff randall or I'm trying to think of the someone else, somebody else who makes the POIs. Uh, I can't remember offhand. They're a YouTuber, but yeah, I think I. I mean, I'll be honest. It's the type of subject that you could get really into. Uh, I just don't have that creative streak. And so we we'll just come in here, and we'll just. Don't think I've really got enough time now to go up and do another POI. So what I'll do is I'll make my way up this way off camera. Maybe we'll take a quick look at the advanced spaceport in the next part. But what I really would like to do is actually focus on the Karana Logistics Center in the next video. So until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.